In this tutorial, we explain how to create, manipulate, and delete Anaconda or Conda Python virtual environments in Linux Ubuntu and how to install and manage packages. The first step is to install Anaconda. We created a separate video tutorial explaining how to install Anaconda and the tutorial is given over here. A link to this tutorial will be given in the description below. After the installation process is completed, let's make sure that Conda and Anaconda are in the system path and that we can run them. To do that, open a terminal and over here I will resize this terminal window such that you can nicely see what I'm typing and you can also see my manual over here. To verify Conda installation, we need to type Conda list. And as the output, you should see this list of packages that are in the base Anaconda environment. Okay, let's continue. The first step is to learn how to create and activate or deactivate Conda environments in Linux Ubuntu. For that purpose, create a folder on your home folder. So go first to the home folder by typing this and then type this command to create the first folder. I will not execute this command since I already have the codes folder, however, you should do that. After you execute this command, navigate to the codes folder and inside of that folder, create another folder called test conda. And this will be the base folder for our environment. Next, navigate to that folder by typing cd conda or cd test conda and over here type this to see that this is an empty folder. In this folder we will create our environment. To create conda environment you need to type this conda create then this option n and you need to specify environment name. You have a complete freedom to specify the environment name. I will call my environment environment1. Consequently, I will type this conda create and then I will specify the name of the environment. So if you execute this, you will see this output, then press Y to confirm and here we are. We have created our first conda environment. Let's now type lsla to see what's happening over here we can see that our folder is actually empty. However, the environment is still created. To activate this environment, we need to simply type conda activate and the name of the environment. And here we are. Notice the difference between this line and this line. We can see that we are currently in our environment one. Okay, this is very important. To exit this environment, that is to deactivate the environment, we simply need to type conda deactivate and we will be out. To list all currently created environment, environments, that is to list all the environments on our system, we need to type conda info and then we need to type this option environments and you can see that we have two environments. The first environment is our base Anaconda environment and the second environment is our newly created environment whose name is environment1. And over here you can see the folder where all the packages of our environment and configuration files are installed. Next, we explain how to install packages in Conda or Anaconda virtual environments. In the standard Python virtual environments, we can use pip install or pipe install, however you like to pronounce this command, to install a package. Although we can use pip install in Anaconda, this is actually the third option for installing the packages and it should be used only if the first two options that will be explained in the sequel do not work or the package is not available through the first two options. The preferable and suggested approach for installing packages in Anaconda and Conda is to use 
this command conda install and then name of the package first let's activate the environment we just created and remember this whenever you want to install a package in an environment a suggested approach is to activate that environment we actually don't need to activate the environment however I suggest to everyone to do that okay now we are in our virtual environment so let's type conda list to make sure that we don't have any package installed and you can see that we are completely empty okay first of all you need to learn this command before you install a package a good idea is to search for that package and to make sure that this package is available you can do that by typing conda search and the name of the package in this case I will search for scipy and if you search you will see a bunch of options for different Python versions and for different channels this means that we can actually install this package okay so let's install this package to install the package we will simply type conda install scipy okay and then it will be installed press yes over here and then let's also install numpy again conda install and then numpy and here it is now numpy will be also installed let's double check all the packages to do that we type conda list and we can see all the packages that are currently being installed now notice one very important thing over here we just wrote conda install scipy and conda install numpy however besides numpy and scipy we have a bunch of other packages this is because the other packages are necessary to run scipy and numpy that is there the prerequisites for scipy and numpy and this is very very important to understand next you can install a particular version of the package by typing this I will not run this command since I don't want to degrade my currently installed scipy version however if for some reason you need an older version you can explicitly specify the scipy version then you can install a bunch of packages by using a single line that is this line and let me now run it and now several packages will be installed what you can see over here is a very interesting answer if I just type conda install scipy numpy without pygame there will be no error and you will see that all required packages are already installed however what I wrote is pygame and it looks like that pygame doesn't exist through anaconda and I will explain how to resolve that issue namely we can still use pip install to install packages that are not available through conda and this is very important to keep in mind okay let's now explain how to install packages by using pip we can use the standard pip install however this might not be the recommended option since there might be some compatibility issues for some packages of course for matplotlib or for some standard packages there will not be compatibility issues since these packages are thoroughly being tested and debugged however for some other packages you might see some issues so let's try to install matplotlib by just typing pip install matplotlib and you can see that we can also install matplotlib with no issue so if we type now conda list we will see that we also have matplotlib as well as some other packages okay so let's go back to our pygame let's try to install it pip install pygame and let's see what will happen and now pygame is installed by using simple pip next we explain how to run a python program in conda or an aconda virtual environment first of all let's make sure that the environment is created and activated we can see that the environment is activated and let's make sure that the necessary packages are installed 
We just need SciPy and we have NumPy and these packages are installed. Now, you can open your favorite Python editor. In my case, I will be using Visual Studio Code. And I will start Visual Studio Code. However, you can use any other Python editor. I actually created a separate video tutorial explaining how to install Visual Studio Code. A link to that tutorial will be given in the description below. Let's create a new file and I will call the file test1.py. Don't forget the extension and save it in this base folder. And let's type the content of the file. Over here to save the time, I will simply copy and paste the content of the file. Let me do that. And here it is. First of all, I'm importing the necessary libraries, NumPy and SciPy. And over here as a test case, I'm creating two matrices, matrix 1, matrix 2. Then I'm saying over here that matrix 3 is matrix 1 multiplied by matrix 2. Then over here, I'm inverting matrix 2 to compute the matrix 4. And then over here, I'm multiplying matrix 3 by matrix 4, that is by the inverse of the matrix 2, and as the result I'm obtaining matrix 5. If everything is correct, and if all the libraries are properly installed, and all the functions work correctly, matrix 1 and matrix 5 should be the same. So let's save this, and let's execute this file. There are two approaches for executing this file. Uh, the first approach is based on Visual Studio Code. How to execute this file by using Visual Studio Code? To do that, you need to press Ctrl, Shift P, and then search for Python, select Interpreter. And over here, it's very important that you select the interpreter that corresponds to environment 1. So let's select this interpreter and it should be active over here, environment 1, Conta. And then you can simply click here to execute the file. And you can see matrix 1 and you can see matrix 2. Okay, that was the first approach for executing this file. The second approach is to execute this file from our command prompt. So let's close Visual Studio Code and in this base folder let's type ls-la and here's our file. Over here you can see that the permissions are read, write, read, write and read. To, be, to execute this file on some Linux distributions it's necessary to set the executable permissions. To do that type chmod then type plus X. This means to specify the executable one and enter the name of the file. And let's see now if we type ls-la, we can see that we have executable rights and we can see that our file is now green. This means that we can actually execute this file. To execute this file, we need to make sure that we have the correct version of Python. So type which Python Three. And this will list the executable folder of our Python. And here it is. You can see that we are in Anaconda 3 environments, environment 1 bin, and we are executing Python 3 from here. That is, our Python executable is actually in our virtual environment. And this Python executable will be able to see all the packages installed in our virtual environment. And now, to execute this file, we will simply need to type this, python3, and the name of the file, and that's it. Here it is. Perfect. Also, it's good to know the Python version that we are currently running, and to do that, type python3, and just type version. And you can see that I'm running 3.12.5. Next, we explain how to create an Aconda or Conda environment for a particular Python version. Here's the motivation. Sometimes it's necessary to create an Aconda or Conda environment for a particular Python version. And let's learn how to do that. First of all, let's deactivate 
our environment. To deactivate, there are several approaches. You can simply type deactivate. And if you run this, oops, I need to run conda deactivate to correct myself. Run conda deactivate and you will deactivate your environment. And let's create a new environment. Let's create an Aconda environment for the Python version 3.10. You simply need to type this. Conda create name of the environment and Python version. And that's it. And do yes. And here it is. Let's verify that this environment is actually installed. To verify all the environments, we need to type this conda info and environments. And let's see the output. We can see that we have base, environment 1, and environment 2. Let's go inside of the environment 2. To do that, we need to type conda activate environment 2. And we can see now that environment 2 is activated. Let's verify our Python version by typing this. And you can see an error here because I created a spelling error. And here it is. We can see that our Python version is 3.10.14. Of course, over here, you can even specify this third number to be any number you like. And this is how we create Conda virtual environments for a particular version of Python. Let's deactivate this environment. And finally, let's learn how to remove or erase conda environments. To erase or remove a conda environment, we need to execute this command, conda remove, then specify the name, name of environment, and all. So let's remove the first environment we created. Let's press yes. Yes. And let's remove the second environment by doing this yes yes and now let's verify all the environments so let's just type conda info environments and let's see the output and voila here it is we only have the base environment and that's it Okay, that's all for today and thanks for watching.